In this video, we will improve our bullet shooting system so that our bullet can still hit obstacles on our map, but we can introduce an obstacle that blocks our movement but still allows our bullet to fly over this to hit the enemy. And we are going to use physics layers and layer collision matrix in physics to the unity settings so that we can only detect the collisions that we want to occur and we are going to discard any other collisions that we do not want. Okay, let's get going with this tutorial. This video is part of the series of videos about creating a 2D top-down tank game. We will explore different features of this game, each as a standalone video. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. In the previous video, we have implemented the shooting mechanic for our tank so that our tank can spawn a bullet where our threat is facing and shoot it in this direction and hit an object and even kill an enemy tank for example. But there is one issue that our bullet is currently colliding with any object that has collider on it and this can be problematic. For example, if you want to introduce an obstacle that should stop a tank for, from driving through it, but you want to have a mechanic that the bullet still flies over it instead of hitting this obstacle. And that's what we are going to tackle in this video. Okay, great. I have swapped the sprites for our tanks. In the last video we have created a prefab from our tank and we can create a player input that will drive a tank but as well we can create a, a separate game object of type tank and in the future video we can implement an AI behavior to drive this tank just like we drive it using our player input. In any case we have also created a bullet and currently the bullet is set on the layer default. And this only means that it will collide using our Collider 2D and the Rigid Body with any other object that is uh, that actually have a collider on it. We will need to use what is known as Collision Matrix. First of all, we will need to understand what are the layers in Unity. In Unity we can create layers and we can set our colliders to reside on those layers. And the layers as we read, they can be used commonly for the camera to render only part of our scene, by the lights to illuminate only part of the scene, but also by raycasting or the collision detection so that we can limit what type of collisions occur in our project. Next important thing is the collision matrix itself. We can detect the layer based collision and we can prevent different layers uh, from colliding between each other and this is the unity feature that we will use to prevent different layers of our bullet from colliding with the obstacles that only block the movement and not the bullet. Okay, so currently, as I have said previously, we do not have any layers set. So in the top right corner of Unity, we have this layer drop down button, and at the bottom of it, we have edit layers. We have tags, which we are not using in this project, sorting layers, which are used to display and render correctly the objects on our map, and here are the layers. Now, I want to create a couple of layers. First one will be bullet, which will be the layer on which bullets will reside. And we can avoid, for example, the collisions between different bullets. So the bullets will fly past each other, but they will collide with our agent. So let's create agent layer. And we will have obstacle layers, or maybe hitable. Those will be the objects, for example, from the environment that can be hit by our bullet, but are not agents. And we can, for example, create obstacles, movement. And those will be the obstacles that block the movement, but are not affected or not, does not collide with our bullet. Now, since we already have those layers set, let's go to our prefabs folder and for our bullet, we are going to simply set for the prefab of the bullet to be on the layer bullet. Now, our tank is also a prefab and we are going to set the layer of the tank to be on the layer agent and this is vital because our player as well as our enemies will need to be hit by a bullet so we are not going to distinguish be between them using the layers we can do that using the tags and we are going to use the layers to correctly discover the collisions between objects last thing that we will want to do is set the uh, obstacles which we have on our tile map so the obstacle smalls will be on the layer hitable, so we can still hit the obstacles on our map. And the movement obstacle that I have created here, which is simply the sprite render and a box collider, we will set it to be on the layer obstacles movement. 
and that's basically it. So now we have set the layers, but if we press play, nothing will change, the bullet will still hit the movement obstacle. So to apply our collisions and uh, to change the collision matrix, we will go to edit, project settings, and we should have this project settings window pop up. I have docked it here and I have selected the physics to this section. Now here in this section at the bottom of it, we have this layer collision matrix, which presents to us all the layers. And here we can check the layers and the layer pairs actually, between which the collisions should appear. Now, it took me quite a bit when I was learning Unity to adjust myself to this setup, but this is pretty simple. We have the text uh, with the name of the layer at the top and to the left, and what we have is the collision pairs. So, for example, obstacle movement, can it collide with other obstacle movement uh, colliders? I do not want that to happen. Now, with hitable, I do not want that. I want only the agent to be colliding with obstacle movement. So I will uncheck the rest of those collision layers. Next, we have at the top the hitable. And I want the hitable to only collide with bullets and with agent. Now, our agents should collide with each other. And they will should collide with bullets. And this should be basically it, because we already have agent colliding with obstacle movement here in this column. Now, bullets. We want the bullets to be colliding with our agent. And here our bullet is in this row already set to be colliding with hitable and agent. So we do not want any other collisions appearing between those. And this way we have set all the collisions according to how we want them to appear. So now if we press play, we should see that now our bullet can fly over this obstacle, but our tank cannot cross it. So we will need to drive around it and kill this fellow. And we can still perform the collision between the bullet and the obstacles on our map. Now, one last important thing that I have introduced in the previous video was in our scripts in our turret. Uh, the turret script is responsible for actually creating and shooting the bullet in the direction that the turret is facing. And I have created this collider to the array. I have acquired it by getting all the components in the parents objects uh, of type collider 2D and this is just the array of all the colliders on our tank and to prevent the collision between the bullets that we shoot between our tank and the bullet we are using when we spawn our bullet we are calling for each collider in our tank colliders and we are setting the physics to the dot ignore collisions between the bullet collider and the collider on our tank another important thing is how we have set our bullet our bullet prefab has a rigid body on it and this is the dynamic rigid body and it has a box collider 2D with a trigger on it and we are detecting the collisions using the bullet and inside our bullet script we are calling our on trigger enter 2D to detect the collision between other objects. If we visit the Unity Colliders documentation at the bottom of it we can see the collision action matrix. And we can see that the collisions can only occur between specific type of bodies. So for example, the rigid body collider can collide with other rigid body colliders, static colliders, but it will not collide with triggers. As well, the triggers, if we set the body to be a trigger, the collider to be a trigger, if we have rigid body trigger collider, it can collide with almost any object of type collider with or without a rigid body. So if any collision doesn't occur in your project, be sure to check out this collision action matrix and be sure to check what type of the collider is your object and it will it perform any action on trigger or on collision enter exit or stay uh, that you want to use okay that's it for this part of the tutorial of the 2d top-down tank game series i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want to support me please take a look at my patreon website check out my udemy course about creating a 2d top-down shooter using the URP and UNT 2020. There will be a link with a discount in the description if you are interested. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.